Hi guys, it's Ms. Shabsla, and I'm here with another haul. I have been getting ready for the holidays. Sorry again that this has been a little bit late. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in because I got another haul that I'm going to do right after this video with stuff that I bought for Christmas and how to do Christmas shopping on a budget. So let's just get started. Some of this is Christmas presents. And some of this was from a rummage sale that I spoke about before and how insane they get. So I'm hoping to get a GoPro or something small that I can just clip onto my um, purse or jacket when I'm shopping. So it's so much easier and it's more fluid for you guys. So it's not so much shaking and jumping around um, because I want to take you guys shopping, but it's just so hard to do camera in one hand and shop and dig and everything with the other. So that's my plan. I hope it works out. I'm sure it will because I told my husband I want that for Christmas and it's on my list and he's pretty good about stuff like that. So without further ado, let's just jump into this haul. I have some random, I have some jewelry, I have some Christmas presents and I have something for me. So let's get into it. Uh, so I'm just going to go randomly. This first thing was from the rummage sale that I went to and it is this buffalo flag mug it was a dollar it was a great beer or pop mug if you see black on my hands and stuff I've just dyed my hair so while I'm doing this hair uh, while I'm doing this video my hair is processing um so I paid a dollar for this which I love my husband's gonna love that so I picked that up Oh, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> uh, this next thing, I love flowers, but I cannot keep them alive. I have actually kept two plants alive. A jade plant, and it's almost a year old now. And a mother's tongue. I don't know, uh, mother-in-law's tongue, something like that. So those are doing pretty good so far. <laughs> so this next one is just uh, like succulents and some other kind of flower. And just this cute little vase that threshold I believe that is uh, Target and this was two dollars so this will probably go in my room actually right where I'm at I have no greenery in here okay <sighs> so much random stuff all right I picked these up from the rummage sale these were a dollar they're Gant they're not super high-end um but they did look nice on my husband. So I picked those up. They are brand new. They're black. And then they got this little bit of blue right there. So these were 50 cents or a dollar. So I picked those up. Um, candles. Y'all know I am obsessed. So I picked up this candle from the uh, rummage sale. And it was, it is this Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint. It was 50 cents, Bath and Body Works, brand new three wick candle. Love it. Had to get it. I love the smell of eucalyptus and spearmint. So I picked that up. Uh, I guess we might as well do this kind of stuff. This is Falling in Love Perfumed Olive Oil Body Scrub. And this was a dollar. It is by Philosophy. It is almost full. So we picked that up. Let me scooch y'all this way a little. Okay. Uh, next, these were from my local Salvation Army, I believe it was. And I was there when they were bringing them out. And it is my cellar cleansing water this is all in one removes makeup all in one removes makeup clean I don't know what the difference is there was something I don't remember what the difference was so they're brand new they had a whole bin of these for $1.99 I am going to keep one for myself and put one in my daughter's stocking um, these the micellar water is really good for cleaning patent leather and leather certain leathers um, that I learned through one of my eBay or YouTube watching videos that I've watched of other people that clean like Louis Vuitton and stuff and that was good for cleaning certain patent leather. Next, uh, pull that forward, give me this. 
This is a grapefruit and blood orange fine salt scrub. I'm going to put this, this is brand new, I'm going to put this in my daughter's uh, Christmas basket. So I might just do like a little Christmas basket with all that stuff. Um, coconut lime breeze, Bath and Body Works for 50 cents. Oh, this from the Cottage Greenhouse, this was a dollar. Then I picked up Tresemme, Split Remedy, Leave-In Conditioning Spray, 99 cents. Again, I'll give that to my daughter. Can't have enough leave-in conditioning spray. I use it every time I wash my hair, so so does my daughter. Next is Not Your Mother's Naturals, Blue Sea Cal and Pure Coconut Water Weightless Mousse. I am going to attempt to try mousse again in my older age because I just like volume. This was 99 cents. My hair is so long and so heavy, I never really get a lot of volume, so I'm going to see if that will work to get me some volume. And last but not least was this Loma Nourishing Conditioner. Again, 99 cents, and this is brand new. Um, no parabens or gluten. It smells really nice. So I picked that up. And again, I will probably put that with my daughter's stuff. Um, I bought her a ton of shampoos and conditioners and body washes and, and soaps and blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, being an adult it sucks having to buy that stuff, so... I picked all that stuff up for her. Um, she's actually coming home to see me. I am so excited. So I'm going to put together a big... Um, she's not bringing much luggage, so I'm filling a suitcase full of essentials for her to take home with her. Okay, next is this. It's by... I can't read that. Let me see. Oh, you can see my dirty hair. Oh, you can't read that. A R. My hair's not dirty. I meant dyed. ARTC. It is EP over cotton made in England. I just thought this is super cute. It'd be cute for uh, utensils in the kitchen or I don't know if it's for like a wine bottle. Um, it'd be cute for brushes. A lot of good uses. I will probably give this to my daughter for her kitchen. Or I will put it on my bar and put a bottle of wine in it. Okay. Speaking of my bar, I bought this for my bar. It is Royal Crystal Rock Top Collection. It was $5.49. And it is this cute little set of crystal decanters. It's two decanters with a little tray to put them on. So I love this kind of stuff on my bar. I just turned a old mirror dresser into a bar it looks really pretty so this will look really nice so i bought that uh this i bought for my bff she just got a new house this is brand new this is by a really expensive uh egg wheel france a really expensive knife company and it's a knife i believe it's a cheese fork and knife awful big but i believe that's what it is and, yeah, it's got the Certificate of Authenticity. They're really expensive knives, so I picked that up. Um, I'm mad because I saw a really cool cheese board, and I didn't grab it. But I believe she already has a cheese board, so one night when she's all settled in her house, I'm going to go over there and bring some wine and cheese and give her that. Okay, these four... I picked up, these were also at my good, or Salvation Army when they were bringing out the micellar wa water. Uh, these were 89 cents a piece, or no, 59 cents a piece. And they are two bra Define and Fill Duo Brows in Cinnabar and Deep Brown. So I'm going to get one. She's going to get one. And then these two... Lip glosses, metallic foil, metallic lip. And I'm going to keep one and she gets one. So, stocking stuffers. <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess it is time for the jewelry portion of my haul. Wait, I'll show you this belt because it's not really a big deal. 
it's just this gold shiny glitter belt. It was $2.99 from Savers. I love these for the holidays, so I picked this up for myself. I believe it's Old Navy, but it looks like Kate Spade. And, oh, we'll do this too before I get into clothes. These I picked up for my daughter. They're brand new. Um, so I'll put these away for Christmas as well. These were six bucks, and they are Victoria's Secret pink uh, sweatpants. And they're black with the pink and then yeah. nothing crazy but for six dollars she'll be happy um, okay so this is all from the thrift store or sorry rummage sale and this is all the jewelry that I bought so the bracelets we're all four for a dollar. And hold on. The bracelets were four for a dollar. I think the necklaces were four for a dollar. And the rings were four for a dollar. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it was everything was four for a dollar. So I just grabbed a couple of things. Um I picked up this ring. I just thought it was pretty. It's nothing. It's not marked. Um, it's not silver. But I needed um <laughs> I needed to round out my four things, so I picked this up. I picked up this necklace. It's really pretty. I don't remember if this one was marked 925 or not, but it is this. It's really, really sparkly, so I picked that up. Again, these were all a quarter. Uh, I picked this up. I didn't really have time to look it over. There's no markings in it. But it is just this faux diamond ring. It's huge. It fits my thumb. Um, so that was a quarter. So again, you have to be quick. <laughs> and that's why some of these I wasn't sure of. This, um, I wasn't sure if it was Alex and Arnie, but it is Bella Ryan. And it is these angel wings. Uh, this is just a bangle bracelet, but I feel like I... Oh, yeah, it's marked Monet. This one is marked West Germany and Rajet, I think. So I don't know if it is silver, like gold over silver or not. Uh, I have to look more into it, but it does say West Germany right there. Again, a quarter. Uh, this one is, I believe, Alex and Ronnie. No, nope, I lied. It's not. <laughs> uh, this just says Hope. Still pretty. And if you have Alex Nani collection, can't really tell the difference. And this last one with the starfish and sand dollar. Again, a quarter. Oh, I got hair dye all over my nails. Ah! Uh, this one, I was not sure if this was sterling silver or not, I believe. I don't know. I'll have to test it. I did just buy a testing to test uh, metal, so I'll test if it's gold or silver. And this last one, I just thought it was cute. It's got little starfish all over it, so I picked that up. So I think that was like $2 for all that right there. Um, I'm going on the side. Ooh, sorry. This was six dollars, and this bracelet was fifty cents. But six dollars is usually a lot for me to spend. But I thought it was really pretty. It's super shiny in person, so I picked that up for myself at Clothes Mentor. And then I picked up this one because I love my chunky bracelets. Now, to be honest, it's been so long, I don't even, not so long, it's been like two weeks, but I don't even remember what's in these. So this was, doo -doo -doo. oh, this is a Judith Ripka Sterling Silver watch. I feel like the light is, and I paid $5 for this. I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's an excellent condition. really pretty and this 
all of this is sterling silver. So I picked that up for $5. This is rummage sale stuff too. This was 50 cents. And I am wearing this tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is today for you guys. I'm wearing this tonight to our girls' Christmas party. That will be in my hair. Now these I'm really excited about. Um, so some of these are from an estate sale. Oh wait, let me do the last of the rum and sale. Okay, so this box was 50 cents or a dollar. Um, I just really like these. And I'm not positive yet if they are sterling silver or not. But I thought they were cute with the little stars. So it was those, these, and then these. Hoop earrings. So it was either 50 cents or 75 cents, something like that. Okay, this last thing, we walked up and me and my uh, friend Princess Casserole were looking at the jewelry. And she was looking at stuff and I was just about to bypass this and I was like you know what let me look at it and I grabbed it and I opened it up and it has tons of sterling silver in it I asked her how much for this three whole dollars I'll show you what was in it okay so there's and it's all sterling in here so there are these two bracelets This one and this one. So there was those two bracelets. Then there is in the next pocket is this. I can't remember if this is a bracelet or oh no, this is a necklace. Sterling silver. I didn't see like a maker's mark or anything. Other than it being sterling silver, but it is really pretty. Oops, backwards. So it's got these little things there, and then this. It's supposed to be. There's some side of It's really, really pretty. So there was that. Then in the next zipper is this bracelet. And again, all of this is sterling. Uh, then there was this, which is just a charm. Sterling Silver Charm. Now this has some markings on it. It looks like two R's. If anyone is familiar with what that stands for. Those two R's. And then on the back it says 2006 A.S. Sterling. So, I don't know. I thought it was really cool. I'm intrigued to find out what it is or who it's by. Okay, and then in the last two zippers, we have some necklaces. And we have this necklace. A herringbone. And then this nice, heavy, heavy, heavy um, rope. Chain. Um, and last but not least is this daintier rope chain.
So that was all $3. Well worth it. So sometimes you got to look in stuff. Okay, so following the rummage sale, we went to a, uh, what is it called? A state sale. And the guy there had some amazing jewelry. We thought it was the woman whose estate sale it was, but it was actually, he was a, a dealer and he brings his stuff with him. So I bought, did I buy two? I thought I, thought I bought three things from there. Oh, my ring. I don't have that right now. I'll show it in another video. It's gorgeous. The big, huge, thick, uh, silver ring so I did wind up buying two of these and the cost was $25 for the two and it is this amazing charm bracelet vintage charm bracelet I'll show you the charms are so cool uh, there's a typewriter there's a charm that says Debbie which I will either sell or have her name uh, taken off. There is this little tiny card case with itty bitty tiny cards in it. There's little tiny playing cards in there. That's one of my favorites. Uh, the next one is this NASA Bahamas charm. Then there is this cute little graduation hat, an angel, What's this, one? this is just, I don't know if this is a birthstone maybe, uh, this one is a happy birthday charm, this is a maple leaf, this one is really cool, I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, some sort of hat for a service member. That was one of my favorites. Uh, then another heart that I believe had something hanging in it, which is no longer there. Uh, this says, what does it say? It looks like it says, oh, exciting 19 and sweet 16. Oh, and then this last one is a little letter that says a message, a message from me, and then it says I love you. So cute. I love charm bracelets, especially vintage ones, and I was just lucky enough to have been given my great, or my grandmother's, which is really special to me, so I'm really excited about that. And then the next one that I got was this one. It doesn't have quite as many charms on it. Uh, but it has the drama charm. This Christmas tree, which is amazing. Oh, I love that Christmas tree. This little Buddha-looking guy. I believe that's Buddha. I love that with the jade in the middle. And then the last one is this cross. So I'm going to take the ones that I want off of one of these. Put the ones that I want on it and then sell the other ones. But I just love these. They're just, they're beautiful and they're so, uh, such a piece of history in them. So that was my jewelry haul. Okay, now into some goodies. So I bought this for myself. It is a Banana Republic faux fur uh, vest. I am sure, this is brand new, I am sure it was a pretty penny, being that it's Banana Republic and faux fur, I'm sure probably in the $70, $80, $100 range. And I think it's just really pretty. So I picked that up for myself. It was $4. $4! Oh, 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 sorry. Okay. Uh, this, I'm not going to get crazy showing that. That is just a brand new blue uh, four roller 
luggage. My husband's luggage got murdered. They ripped the zipper off. So he has to use a smaller bag, which means he's going to need another bag. So I bought him this. I'm going to give this to him for Christmas. It's brand new. Still has the tags on it. The tags are $160. It's a Verity. And I paid, it was 20 bucks at Savers. So I paid $20 for that. Even the cheapest you could find at like TJ Maxx or Kmart, you wouldn't pay 20 So I was really excited. He's going to love that. He loves that color blue. So I picked that up. Now, these last couple things are just random. Uh, go this way. Uh, this I saw and loved because I love vintage Christmas. And when I asked how much, she just gave it to me. He's so cute. I got a white tree this year. I'm so excited. Uh, this was $5.89. It's an excellent, excellent, excellent condition. And it is a Cole Haan crossbody it was five dollars and 89 cents but it's in really it's really good shape inside i mean the only way you could tell it was used because there's bubble gum wrapper but the inside is i don't know why this is so dark uh like brand new so i picked that up i picked up this head um tote bag it's huge I believe head is, I know it's the sports related. This is brand new too. I just don't know if it's uh, just for, um, if it is just for tennis or if it's just sports in general. So it's this big, huge bag. It's got this uh, climate control in here. So... I don't know, is that a cooler? That'd be really cool if it is. Then it is this huge inside, and there's like, I believe these are for shoes. And it was just really nice, and this was three bucks. So I picked that up. This is the back. It'd be a great, it's a great peach bag. Um, and last but not least, if y'all are still here with me, thank you if you are, love y'all, is this Tory Birch. Uh, wristlet or not wristlet clutch it was three dollars and 99 cents the inside is pretty good I am going to have to dye the patent because it got some transfer here and all back here but really all I have to do is this little area so that's not bad so I'm thinking either a red to go with the brown or a dark brown or I'm not sure I'm going to go ahead and try and see what I come up with. I might do a red and a black mix, so it's almost like a burgundy. But for $4, I think I can make this look really nice. And it's got the pockets inside and the pockets inside here. So for 4 bucks, I was like, you know what, I'll try. Even though I told myself I wasn't going to buy no more, I did anyway. <laughs> All right, so that's my haul. If you guys are still here, thank you so much for watching me and listening to me. And I appreciate you all so much. And I will be back uh, today when you will be watching this. It's Saturday, so I will be back Monday with a Christmas shopping haul. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves. If you like this video, like it, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.